Hi, my name is Andre Meyer and I'm a postdoc at the University of Zurich. In this talk, I'm going to tell you how reflective goal setting can help software developers to increase their productivity and well-being. This was a joint collaboration with Gil Murphy from UBC, Tom Zimmerman from Microsoft Research, and Thomas Fritz from the University of Zurich. Software developers are motivated to develop better habits that help them to improve the productivity and well-being at work. However, in reality, they have often difficulties to identify concrete goals and actionable strategies to do so. It is therefore desirable to gain a better understanding of what good work habits and behaviors really are, so we can help them later with the identification of self-improvement opportunities and help them to maintain good habits at work or build better ones. In several areas of life, such as the physical activity and health domain, self-reflection as well as goal setting has been shown to be very successful at increasing people's awareness about problematic behaviors and that it helps them and motivates them to define self-improvement goals and foster goal achievement in the end. In the workplace, however, and in particular software engineering, only very, very little is known about positive and productive work habits and the individual strategies that help developers to improve themselves. This is why our goal was to investigate what developers' existing goals are that help them improving themselves and maintaining good work habits, and also what strategies they pursue to reach them. We further aimed to examine whether encouraging developers to self-reflect continuously on work results in any meaningful insights about work or leads to any work habit goals. To investigate these research questions, we combine self-reflection and goal setting to design a reflective goal setting study, which was inspired by the personal software process and diary studies in other areas of research. In our study, we asked 52 developers to reflect about work on a daily basis for several weeks. Every morning, they would reflect on what they had planned to work on for that day, and in the evening, they would reflect on the progress they made on those tasks, what went well and what could be improved, and we ask them to set goals for the next day, to um, keep having a good day the next day or, or improve it even further using the SMART goals approach. This has resulted in a broad set of qualitative data with more than 600 self-reflections from about 11 and a half work days per participant on average. We then performed a thematic analysis, which resulted in a rich set of 15 work habit goals and 27 actionable strategies to improve and maintain good work habits. These included more obvious goals, such as planning one's work day in advance, but also more specific ones to software engineering, such as better handling unplanned bugs or doing more code reviews. From the goals, we asked participants to develop and experiment with strategies to reach them. Every day, they would slightly adapt their previous workday goal or strategy, and in the end of the study, Every participant had a set of two to four highly personal and relevant goals. For example, many participants wanted to become better at planning work days in advance. So participants started to block time in their calendar, for example, uh, that would help them to work more focused, and they would create subtasks to become better at estimating the workload. Developers who wanted to become a better colleague um, often learned that they should not only take the important complex tasks for themselves, but also share them with their team and delegate them, and also set enough time aside to help or mentor teammates. To better handle unplanned and urgent bugs, many noticed that they don't always need to drop everything right at the time when a new urgent bug comes in and jump to that unplanned task, but that often it's feasible to finish the current one first and avoid a costly index switch. In the paper, you can find detailed explanations and insights into those 50 goals and 27 strategies. While we run the reflecting goal setting study to gain insights on goals that developers set for themselves, what was really surprising to us was that we learned that the me method itself was actually really valuable for participants. After a few days of getting you reflecting about work, the majority of participants reported that the self reflections about work they had to do daily really allowed them to gain actionable insights and come up with productive self-improvement strategies. The main reason was that while most wanted to improve themselves, 
they often had very few concrete and actionable ideas on how to improve their work habits. This is because most developers rarely reflect continuously and purposely about the work. And they were enforced and encouraged to reflect continuously and purposefully every single day. The self-reflection process allowed them to experiment with and identify concrete self-improvement opportunities. As a result, 84% of all participants stated that the process increased their awareness. So they learned a lot about their own work habits, the progress, their achievements. And as an example, one participant mentioned that she can better decide whether she wants to accept an interruption from a coworker or if she asks the coworker to come later. 81% mentioned that they could successfully identify concrete goals. 83% identified actual strategies to reach the goals. So overall, as a result, 80% of all participants reported that they had productive behavior changes, which helped them to increase well-being and productivity. Now that we have a list of 15 goals that are relevant to developers and 27 actionable strategies, we can think about how we can use them to help developers. Generally, more than 90% of all participants mentioned that they would interest include some kind of regular reflection in, in their work lives especially since they are all reflecting on other parts of their work, such as code quality, progress, performance with their team. However, the positive effect might not last forever since it takes a lot of effort to self-reflect on a daily basis. So it could be valuable to support goal identification and goal monitoring using some tools. One obvious idea is to include the goals and strategies that we identified as suggestions. Or we could also include automated self-monitoring approaches. We could, for example, try to visualize how developers are progressing and towards their goals. Or we could integrate better into existing workflows. For this, for example, suggested that we could include the whole approach, the whole self-reflection approach, as a bot into Slack or Microsoft Teams. Finally, this was more controversial. A couple of participants mentioned that they would benefit or it would increase their motivation when they would have reminders to actually work on their goals, or even if there was a notification system in place. Paper we sorts of the developers' goals and strategies to improve or maintain good types work. While initially most developers were quite skeptical to react on a daily basis over multiple weeks, the majority of participants was surprisingly happy with it and found a lot of value in doing so. This showed that continuous and active reflective goal setting allows developers to not only identify work habits, but also to reach them. If you want to know more, please have a look at our paper, and I want to thank you for your attention.